It's your Commodore, Ty Coles, and welcome to another Marvel's What If Review. This one will be Season 1, Episode 2, What If T'Challa Was Taken Instead of Peter Quill. Essentially, the story is, everything would be a hell of a lot better if T'Challa was taken. Not only would he be infamous as the infamous Star-Lord... The Ravengers would be a lot more peaceful and do good. He would have convinced the mad titan Thanos to turn to good instead of evil. I claim to just stop Thanos, the mad titan, from guessing what's going to happen to the universe. Oh, no, I'm a big enough man to admit when I'm wrong. T'Challa here showed me there was more than one way to reallocate the universe's resources. And the um, big badass baddie would be... The Collector. The Collector? As in the most ruthless kingpin in the intergalactic underworld? Wait, I thought that was you. It was, but when I went straight, Tavon saw an opening and filled the power. And all of Thanos' minions would work for him. Nebula, okay, came to T'Challa. And Nebula is throwing out some major 7 of 9 vibes. And proposes that they steal this substance from the Collector. The Embers of Genesis. Nutrient-rich cosmic dust from an ancient supernova with the power to terraform entire ecosystem. And we get in our Howard the Duck cameo. You know what they say when you're out of luck? Always go duck. It looks like it's falling apart, but that was actually the plan. And Nebula would betray the betrayer. She would turn on him, but it was not actually turning on him. She was still with them. But then again, there are two sides to any story. Relax, new guy. I'm here to rescue you. Hmm. Not like you to change your mind. Oh, I didn't. This was always the plan. During this time, T'Challa would find a Wakandan ship and knowing that they weren't destroyed, but looking for him, so he got pissed, but at the end, forgave Rondu. There's no need. I was the one who told you I wanted to see the world. All you did was show me the universe. Everything seemed to go perfectly. This is like so much better than anything that happened in our timeline until the end when we finally meet peter he's working at a dairy queen and ego comes to meet his son My peter can't spare a little time for dear old dad overall i wish they did take t'challa even though it was by accident you morons grabbed the wrong kid uh-uh not so fast captain two sea holes two here holes one I wish the Ravagers took T'Challa because it would have been a whole lot better for everyone in the MCU. So for your Commodore, Ty Coles, live long and prosper.